Hey guys, already. So, um, this is gonna be a quick video. Hope today, um, I was like watching in the morning. I was watching this news thing, and they were doing like a, like a, what was it like a piece on like fashion industries right now and stuff, and how much like pressure they put on little girls, like teenagers and even adults, on like how they should look and. I feel that like fashion industries like make you feel like you need to be extremely skinny and you need to have you need to wear makeup and you have to have your hair done all the time and it's like no you don't for real <laughs> um if you've been watching me for a while you probably know that I hate doing my hair this is natural right here natural well natural with a little bit of tameage going on um I hate doing my hair I hate getting like getting all ready and dressed and pretty. I tried the makeup, not for me. Um, but what I'm getting to is that, like, no matter what, like, no matter what you hear or what anybody tells you, like, you don't need to be what they want you to be. You need to be what you want to be. And what that, like, pretty much ties into is that. Like, whatever you think is nice, if whatever you think is pretty, that's that's the best. Because I had a lot of, like, when I was younger, I was a tomboy. I still am, kind of. I was a tomboy. I used to play football. I used to play soccer. I used to do all these sports things. I used to um, bike with my brother. Like, all this kind of stuff. Um, so I wasn't your typical girl, obviously. Um, once I started getting into, like, high school and stuff, I started knowing... Uh, that's when I started, like, seeing that I wasn't pretty. Like, I don't have the greatest smile. Like, er, it's ugly. <laughs> um, I don't have the best features on my face. I don't have the best hair. I don't have... I'm not pretty. Like, that's what I just kept thinking to myself. Like, I'm not pretty. I'm not the type of girl that guys are gonna come up to and be like, Oh, hey, like, you wanna go out? Like, no. I was the type of girl that guys do come up to, but to talk about different stuff, because I was always, like, I always had a lot of guy friends, like, a lot of guy friends. I had my, the, the girls that were friends, you know, and, um, but a lot of guys, like, girls would come up to me and be like, hey, can you, like, like, tell him, like, that I like him, because they knew I was so close to guys, because I was such a tomboy, and, like, with, hanging out with my brother and stuff, um, it's just I knew all the guys, you know what I mean? So it it, it kind of sucked because a lot of guys, like, I, I did have crushes on a lot of guys. They all knew. They all knew because eventually in high school, like, I told them and stuff. But, like, I, I knew that I wasn't the girl that the guys were looking for to date or that thought they were I was pretty and stuff like that. So that, like, kind of brought me down a lot. And it went on. I still kind of feel like that at sometimes because I know I'm not pretty. I know I'm not like, oh my god, you're the prettiest girl alive. You have the prettiest eyes. I don't. I have brown eyes. Nothing special. Um, you have the prettiest smile. Like mm, you're lying. <laughs> I, it's just I don't I, like. I'm big. I'm big. I know I'm big, and it sucks. But I mean, that's me. I've always been like this. And I've grown to accept accept it. Like, I know, like, okay, you know, like, Lucy, you don't have the greatest hair. You don't have the greatest body. You don't have the greatest face. You don't have the greatest smile and stuff. But I can live with that. I've been living with it for 21 years. I've been living with the fact that I'm not the prettiest girl. And I'm okay with that. Now I am. Before, I wasn't. There goes my computer. It freaking falls asleep. Ugh. But, like, I'm saying, like, before, I wasn't okay with it. Now I am. I really don't care. I mean, the only reason I'll get ready or I'll get dressed and stuff, I'll try to look pretty, is, like, when me and my boyfriend go out somewhere. Like, you know, it's just, you don't need to, you just have to know that you don't need to impress everybody. Like, have those special occasions where you, when you do impress them, like, an interview, that's a big thing. Like, a family dinner, a, your first date, a first date with any boy, like, you know, to certain things like that. You just don't always have to look pretty. Like, look presentable, yeah. But don't, like, go overboard. Like, try your hardest to be the prettiest person. Like, no, it's not worth it. You know, high school, I know how it is. It sucks. I hated high school so much because of how, like, I always thought that I was the ugliest girl alive. <laughs> um, but, like, high school is just four years of your life. Like, for real. It's, that's all it is. Four years of your life, and then it's over. High school is done. Then you get out to the real world, and you start thinking about the real important stuff. So just, like, high school... Just 
don't worry about it. Like, don't worry about people say that. Oh, that is an ugly shirt. What do they care? Did they buy it for you? Like, seriously, you wear what you want to wear. You put on your face what you want to put on your face. You do your, your hair however you want it. Just look presentable. Like, my boyfriend and I, we've been together for four years and a half. Four years and a half. He knows how I dress. He's fine with it. And he likes it when we go out on dates and I, like, actually dress up and try to look pretty, you know? He likes that. He says he prefers me to be like that than to have to, like, me have to get ready, like, two hours in advance just to, like, put on something that I'm not. You know what I mean? So you just have to know that you have to accept yourself first before other people accept you because I've gone through my life like this and my friends accept me my teachers accepted me how I dress they don't care because I accepted myself first I didn't let what people were saying get to me so you just have to know that however you want to look like however you want to dress that's all that matters and for other people to leave you alone and to like not care what you're doing, what you're wearing, what how you are looking. You have to accept yourself first and ignore them. People talk. They do. I I know that for a fact. People talk. But if you're not listening, they stop talking. And that's what matters. It's what you think is the best for yourself. You have to accept it yourself first for others to just, I guess, accept it. But you don't have to, like, you don't have to have others accept you to accept yourself. You accept yourself first and give them the ultimatum. Be like, if you if you accept me or you're gone, you know? So, yeah. That's what today's video is about. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta edit this really quick and go to work. <laughs> so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.